G'day, I'm Clive and welcome to CDP Outdoors. Taking a look at today is from the Bushcraft line from Helicontex is the Swagman roll, which uh, I've got here is a, they say it's an advanced poncho liner. Now I've had this probably going on for two years now. It does normally come in a stuff sack with a nice handle to pull it out. And I don't know if you can see here, you got all the instructions on the actual bag here as it is. And you get the same on the stuff sack. Now, this what it's stuffed into at the moment is the actual pocket, the kangaroo pocket that goes on the front of the actual poncho liner. You've got a couple of frayed lines here from stuffing it in and out over the last couple of years. It's got YKK zippers, and as most people know, they've got a pretty good brand name that is. Let's just pull it out. Now I don't normally store these in the pockets or in the stuff sack. I normally have this hanging up with a poncho over it. Believe it or not, on a coat hanger. But when I'm using it in the pack, I just grab hold of it and I stuff it into all the spaces so I don't have to take up so much room. Now this is perfect because it's just started to rain and I thought I may have so I put the camera underneath the barbecue area here or put it down. Waterproof then for the rain. It's got a damp proof, um, I say, yeah, it's damp proof, not waterproof. And what happens is as the water lands on it, as it is at the moment, it lands on and it starts to speed up. Excuse me. My note's flying off. Yeah, as the water hits on it, it's the waterproof coating. The actual water from the rain speeds up and it runs off. I've seen another YouTuber, he's poured water on it and left it and swirled it about a bit and there's no water got in, he just tipped it over, give it a shake and it all came off nice and easy. So when it comes down to weather like this, you can still use it. We've got buckles around it. Nice little buckles. There's two sets of them. Uh, let's go to the other side. When we get there, there we go. Yeah, they're the, the Wujin buckles. So they're a good standard, good quality of buckle there. They're a good tight lock and easy to open when need to. There's actually a zip it goes around the whole thing so this can be used as a poncho liner it can be zipped up and used as a sleeping bag or a sleeping bag liner to increase your R value on your sleeping bag so you could be in colder weather or you can have it open as a blanket over you you can add it make a shelter with it because on the corners here We've got toggles on each corner. What we've got here too, our line locks going to a bungee cord. So if you're going to be using it to go as an under blanket with your hammock, that all, where are we? Is this the bottom? Yeah, that all punches up, tightens up, so you can close the ends off and get a bit more of a um, wind block. It stops the wind coming from the head end or the foot ends. And with this being high up around the actual uh, hammock, it's going to give you a wind block there too. It's not like a normal under blanket where you can zip them up and tighten them all up. It's all nice and snug all the way around you, but it will block the wind. Now I am going to make a future video showing you how and uh, how you can use this and in what ways you can use it. So make this video as short as possible. Some people have said with the hood, because it is different to a poncho liner, this one's got a hood on it. 
they say it's tight and a small fit. Now, what I do to get this on, I do not have to take my glasses off. I've actually put my face in this section here and then just pull that back over my neck. And let's give it a go now. So there we are, I've got my face in there and pull it back and my glasses are still secure. A few sprinkles of rain on it. So this is the same size as the, uh, the poncho that Helicon Techs make. So they will connect together using these toggles. And if you've seen the actual Helicon Techs poncho or my last video about it, you'll see there's some grommets on each corner and on the two on the shoulders. That's what these go through. So that would hold the actual poncho here. Like I said, I'll show you all in another video. Now these are on the same side as you can see. So that's on my left hand side. And the shove in bit is on the right hand side. And the whole idea of that is grab the inny bit and click it. And I've got some bungee webbing on here, or bungee strap, and we'll just tighten that up. So what that will do now is it'll hold it together at the front of me so it's not going to be flapping around so much on the sides here. And the other one I can do up behind me. So let's find it. Lock that in place. So now that won't be moving around, that'll stay in place. The same as the poncho, it's not going to cover all the way down to your hands. You lift it up, you get what about six inches here on each arm. Uh, if you're taller, well, I'm five foot six, so there you go. I've got about six inches up each arm. If you're six foot, your arms are going to be longer, so it's going to be a bit further up your arm. But as you're generally walking, you've got the cover from the rain coming down, and there's plenty of room for you just to put your arms in if you're standing there to keep dry and your arms aren't going to get wet. Now here's that kangaroo pocket that I had it stuffed into. There is a loop in there so when you've got it shoved into that and turned around you can hang it up from that or if you're just wearing it like I am you can hang your EDC torch on there or clip your knife into it so you don't lose it or your car keys anything you want and the zip what they call is a, a double zip in one it wraps around on the inside so when you got it turned over it'll still work so you don't need two little toggles on it again they're ykk zippers you've got a climber shield uh insulation in it and what a climber shield is over the years it's me uh, meant that for the same uh, warmth retention instead of being say there there's about three inches they can get it down into a half inch or a quarter of an inch for the same actual warmth rating so you can see if you can got a stitch in here a bit of a quilt into it nothing too thick and fancy it just does the job now standing here there is a cold chill but my actual body I can feel it warming up slowly Especially my arms at the moment, they're, they're getting nice and warm with this. And like I said, I'm five foot six, so it's giving you a fair bit of protection at the back, down to the back of my knees, and a few inches uh, below my knees at the front. It's not fireproof or fire retardant, so be careful if you're going to be using it. Or wearing it if you're going to be around the campfire make sure you sat back a bit but with a climber shield that should help you stay warm anyway uh, is there much more i can say about this like i said e even with the water that's been on it now from the rain it it's just all run off it has it's bone dry on the outside bone dry on the inside 
But like I said, I'll make another video about how to connect this to your poncho, how to connect it to uh, as an under blanket and your hammock. And I'll show you a couple of things you're going to need to do there just to make it work a little bit better for you. It will still work as it is, but I'll show you something that I do which gives it that bit more of a wrap to hold it around inside you to hold your warmth in more. You can use it as a sleeping bag, like I said. It's not the high, highest rated one. You could probably, depending on you as a person, I've taken it down to, uh, I think close to about 10 degrees centigrade. So not freezing cold, but for where I am, <laughs> that is pretty cold. Uh, you can also use it as the liner, so it'll boost your actual normal sleeping bag up, like I said. We'll just go through all the different ways we can use it. And I'll, I'll see if I can get a, uh, a thermometer, one with the external and an internal sensor as well. And we'll see what the temperature difference is. Now we're going to have to give it a bit of time, 10-15 minutes laying in it when we do that, just to see what the temperature comes up to. But like I said, standing here now with this on, uh, temperature today, I think it's about 12 degrees at the moment. And I can feel my body nice and warm. It's not uh, where it's hot, it's comfortably warm, let's say. So, yeah, I'd say it'd be actually closer to the 10 degrees centigrade you'd be able to get down to. But everyone's different, so don't take that as a definite. You might find 14, somebody might be able to take it down to 8 or 6. But yeah, oh, like I said, I'm stood here. The external temperature is about 10 and I'm warm on the inside. Uh, yeah, we've got a hood. We've got a cord here. So now that will cinch the hood up. That's going to hold even more heat in, which I can actually feel already just for a few seconds. The way I wear this, the same as with my poncho, is I normally wear a baseball cap because I'm wearing glasses. And I don't know if you can tell, my glasses stick out from the actual uh, the, the hood. So the baseball cap just comes across and keeps my glasses dry. So there's a little tip for you. But that's just a bungee cord. Not much room in this in the sense of um, movement where you can undo the zips on some of them but at the same time that's holding the warmth in here so now I've got the hood off so we'll cinch that up so that seals it all the way around the neckline now and the sun comes out beautiful so it's going to hold the heat in even more so that's the Helicontex poncho liner or the Swagman. I like it. And like I said, I'll do another video showing you a bit more about it and how to use it and how versatile it really is. So I hope you've enjoyed the video. And if you have and you're not a subscriber, please go down below, click on the subscribe button, click on the notification bell next to it and select all. So you can be notified of all future videos coming up and hit the like button, the thumbs up. And if you are already a subscriber, again, I thank you very much.